Good morning. How is everybody? How was your week? I hope that you had a wonderful week. Maybe you even got to see some rain. We did not. I got like three sprinkles. But I hope that you got to see some rain. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And maybe it's cooling down. Maybe we'll get some rain today. Wouldn't that be wonderful? So I hope that you had a good week and that um, you allowed God to use you to be a blessing to those around you, to form good friendships with others. And I hope that you're ready to listen. I'm struggling with a little bit of allergies, so I'm sorry if I sound stuffy, and I'm sorry right now if I sneeze. It comes on and I can't stop it. So hopefully we get through this just fine. So let's talk a minute about friends. If you're listening, I would love to know who your good friends are. Are they kids in your neighborhood? Are they kids at your school or in your classes? Do you do sports with them? Maybe your cousins are your very best friends. Who are your good friends? And I'd also love to know what you do with your friends. Now, I'm gonna guess you don't do laundry with your friends. I'm gonna guess you don't um, build houses with your friends. I would guess maybe you ride your bikes with your friends. Or maybe you um, play dolls or play sports with your friends. Those are probably the things. And truth be told, you probably play video games with your friends, right? Or watch cartoons. Those are some of the fun things that we do with friends. And God has built us and designed us to want friendships. And that is so wonderful. And we're figuring out how to have our friendships and still stay healthy right now, aren't we? And it's been a challenge for many of you, but we're doing it. And our friends, our good friends are still there with us. Isn't that wonderful? But today we're gonna talk about somebody whose name starts with a Z. Maybe you figured it out whose name starts with a Z and he needed a friend really badly. So we're gonna find out about him. And his story can be found in the Bible, in the book of Luke. Let's find Luke. Almost there, I didn't have it marked this time. There we go. The book of Luke in the Bible tells us about what happened with this man. Here he is. His name is Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus. Maybe you know the song already and you're singing it in your head, but we'll get to that song at the end of our lesson. He was a tax collector. That meant he worked for the Roman government. So even though he was a Jew and part of God's people, he also worked for the people who were oppressing the Jews. So the Jews weren't a big fan of him for that reason and because if the Roman government told him to collect this much money from everybody, sometimes tax collectors said, actually, I need to collect this much money from everybody and I'm going to keep this for myself and give the government this. So the tax collectors were often known for taking people's money when they weren't supposed to. And it was very tricky and very wrong. Um, so we don't know specifically if Zacchaeus did that, but he probably was. And because of it, the Jews did not want to be his friend and he didn't have any good friends because he chose to be tricky and he chose to steal. So... What happens when Jesus comes into the picture? Let's find out. So Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to town. And at this point, when Jesus came to town, the crowd showed up. Now the trouble was Zacchaeus was a small man. So let's get their feet even. What happens when the crowd starts coming because they hear Jesus is coming? Can Zacchaeus see what's happening? Uh-oh. Have you guys ever been in a crowd? And I know that most of you are small. I'm a small person too. And when you're in a crowd of people, you cannot see over their heads. You can't always see your mom or dad. So you gotta hold their hands really tightly. You can't see what's happening or even where the crowd is going. And it can be very scary. So that's what was happening with Zacchaeus. He wanted to see Jesus and he wanted to see what this savior was all about and the son of God. 
but he couldn't see anything. That's a problem. What do you think Zacchaeus did? Do you think he jumped up and down or he elbowed people out of the way? For people that already didn't like him, I doubt that he wanted that kind of attention. So instead, what do you think he did? He saw off to the side what's called a sycamore tree or a um, fig tree. So Zacchaeus climbed up, 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 up that fig tree. And those branches are very strong to hold his weight. So he climbed up in that fig tree where all the people of the town and the city would not notice him, but he could still see Jesus really well. Isn't that neat? So Jesus came into town to speak to the people. God's word, there they are all together. But Zacchaeus knew that Jesus was something special. And so Zacchaeus was ready to listen. Even though he'd done many wrong thing, things, Zacchaeus was ready to listen to what God had to say to him. But guess what? Jesus saw Zacchaeus hiding in that tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, come down right away. I am coming to your house today. So not only did Jesus know Zacchaeus was in the tree, he knew his name. Isn't that neat? Zacche Jesus called Zacchaeus by name and said, not only do I want to talk with you, I want to come to your house. And all the people were like, um, Jesus, why are you visiting at Zacchaeus' house? He's a friend of sinners and he's a sinner and we shouldn't go to his house. But Jesus said, I love Zacchaeus. I have chosen Zacchaeus and I want to be his friend and I want to talk with him more. I'm not afraid to go to his house. He is going to come to with me and he's going to learn to love me and I forgive his sins because he's asked me to. It was very powerful for Jesus to choose to go to a sinner's house. Not just the, we all sin. These people are sinners too. But these, this man was judged as a sinner and nobody wanted to hang out with him. But Jesus chose him. Isn't that wonderful? Jesus chose the person that other people wanted nothing to do with. And isn't it so sad and awful that they judged him and didn't want anything to do with him? Sometimes we do wrong things. Sometimes we make bad choices. But Jesus will always choose us and choose to forgive us. Isn't that wonderful? So Jesus went to his house and they talked and they talked and Zacchaeus was so sorry for all the wrong things that he had done and all the stealing that he did. So guess what he did? Zacchaeus said, I have not been a friend to others. I'll give the people back their money. So he's gonna take all his extra money that he stole. He's gonna give it back to the people he stole it from because they kept a record. And he said, I will also give them extra. So if Zacchaeus stole $100 from somebody, he said, I'm going to give them extra and I'm going to give them back $150 from my money because I did the wrong thing. That's how the power of Jesus works in our life to help us do good and to go above and beyond and do extra good, do extra right, do extra good things. And that is the power of forgiveness in Zacchaeus' life. Isn't that amazing? He went from being somebody who steals to being somebody who gives extra, who went above and beyond the wrong that they had done. I just love that story. So let's go over. Who remembers? Who can say that big long word of this man? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. That is a very long name. And... What did he do that was wrong? Who can remember? What did he do? He stole money from people he was supposed to be collecting it from. He took extra, didn't he? That he wasn't supposed to. Why did Jesus want to be Zacchaeus' friend? We didn't really talk about that, but what do you think? Do you think it was because he had cool shoes? Do you think it was because he had a really nice house? Or is it because 
Jesus loved Zacchaeus because God made Zacchaeus. And so Jesus loved him because that's his father's creation. And Jesus loves everyone. Not for what Zacchaeus did or didn't do, not for what he had, or because Jesus could maybe get a gift from Zacchaeus because he was probably wealthy. That is not why Jesus chose to be Zacchaeus' friend. It was just because he loved him. So who can be your friend? Maybe you don't have very many. Maybe your friends are kind of, it's hard to be friends right now because of everything going on. But who else can be your friend? That's Jesus. Jesus can live inside your heart when you ask him to come in and he can be your very best friend. You can talk to him whenever you want. You don't have to worry about germs. You don't have to worry about if your computer is working and Zoom is working. Jesus can be your friend anytime, anywhere, middle of the night, middle of the day, hot or cold, rain or shine. Jesus is always there to be your friend because memory verse time, Jesus cares for you. Do you remember that? First Peter 5, 7, he cares for you. He cares for you. Can you say it with me? He cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. Let's say it one more time. He cares for you. He cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. First Peter 5, 7. Good job, guys. So one way you can remember and work on it this week is to get a leaf. We said that Zacchaeus climbed a fig tree. Now there are fig trees in Phoenix. The terrain in Jesus's area of Jerusalem was a lot like ours and it was desert. So fig trees grow here, but you may not have one. So I just took a leaf from our orange tree that is obviously not doing very well. And when I hold up this leaf all week long, I'm gonna say our memory verse. He cares for you, 1 Peter 5, 7. And holding this leaf is gonna help me remember the story of Zacchaeus and how much Jesus cared for Zacchaeus and he cares for me too. So if you could go get a leaf today and put it somewhere in your room, maybe stick it to your wall with some tape or something, and every time you see that leaf this week, you can say your memory verse. He cares for you. He cares for Zacchaeus. He cares for me too. And he cares for all my friends and family. Isn't that neat? So let's sing. Some of you might know that famous song about Zacchaeus. Now remember, I'm not a singer, but I will make a joyful noise to the Lord. It goes like this. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed upon a sycamore tree to see what he could see. And the Savior passed that way. He looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, come down, for I'm going to your house today. That's Jesus, huh? He's calling Zacchaeus down from the tree. You can probably Google that song or look it up in Apple Music, whatever streaming music you might use, if you use one, and you can probably find that song to listen to all week long to help you remember your verse. So let's sing it again to remember this story. Oh, and sycamore tree is the same as a fig tree. Sometimes things are called two different things, huh? Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree to see what he could see. For the Lord he wanted to, oh, I said that. I'm sorry. As the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, come down, for I'm going to your house today. Let's sing it one more time. I'll try not to mess up this time. It's that one line that messes me up. That's okay, right? Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree to see what he could see. As the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, come down, for I'm going to your house today. Yay, guys, good job. Let's go over some things that you can do this week to remind you of this story and our Bible verse. 
you can get a magazine that maybe you're not using anymore and think about friendship. And maybe you can find some pictures in the magazine to cut out of people being friends and maybe even being at somebody's house together like Jesus went to see Zacchaeus and eating together at a table or enjoying their friendship in a backyard at somebody's house. And you can get a piece of paper and glue all those friendship things together to remind you that Jesus gives us friendships and he teaches us how to be a good friend, right? You could also draw a beautiful tree and put it on a page. You can draw it with paint, with all kinds of stuff. You can make leaves with little, if you get a cotton swab, you can dip it, the very end of it in some paint and then make little dots everywhere, green dots of leaves. There's so many fun ways to draw trees. Or you can get some leaves from outside, put some newspaper or paper towel between it and some heavy books on top for a couple days and that'll flatten out your leaf. And then you can glue it to a piece of paper and you can write your memory verse underneath. So you've got your piece of paper with your tree, right? And you can put, he cares for me at the bottom, 1 Peter 5, 7. And you can hang that on your wall. So all week long, you can remember the story of Zacchaeus and how Jesus cared for him. I'll also include some um, puzzle papers that you can print out in the comments. And I'll also include um, some coloring pages that you can print out in the comics. So that all week long, you can be remembering how Jesus cares for you and he will always be your friend, no matter what, no matter where you are. Let's close in prayer, guys. Jesus, I thank you so much for your love. I thank you that you love us no matter what we've done or where we've come from. Thank you that you forgive us, Jesus. I pray for all these little ones that they would feel your friendship and your love in their heart that they would know that you're always by their side and ready to help them. And I pray, God, that you would fill them with the peace and joy of your friendship, of spending time with you and praying and reading your word. And bless all their friendships at school and in their neighborhood and with their family. Help them to be filled with joy and help them to make right decisions. Be glorified and honored, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you guys. Please feel free to message me with questions or comments. We'll be adjusting our time next week and I'll be putting out a survey this week. Um, now that the service for Sundays are going to 9.30 and 11.15, we need to adjust our uh, live video time. So I need your help in figuring out what would be the best time for you to watch the service live if you can. So help me figure that out in the comments now or you can wait and look for that survey later in the week so we can figure out the best time. I love you guys so much and I hope that you have a wonderful week. God bless.